So once we've analysed our files, we plug the DX back in, and you'll see it will pop back into its 4DEX status. First we're going to look at now is the file, is the browsing section in the center master section of the DX. First button is the area button and this allows us as you can see at the very top to switch between files, browse, prepare, history and nothing at all. And that's with respect to that top window. Once we're in an area that we want to be, so I'm just in the file structure here, we can press the forward button, which is the push action of the encoder. And you can see that will click between the crates that I'm currently on. If I want to go back through my actual file structure, I've got the forward and back buttons. You see, I can move forwards and backwards between all of my areas. The rotary action allows me to scroll up and down between the areas within a panel. And then to move forward, again, I press the forward, which is the push action of the encoder. So if I go to local disk, press, that allows me to go onto my next column, push. And you can see how you can open up your different sets of music. Again, I can go back. Another neat feature that we've got is if your um, your library has got a lot of tracks in it or your browser has a lot of tracks in it, we have the view button. If we hit the view button, we lose the bottom waveforms, giving us a larger area to scroll up and down between our tracks in the library window. 